Welcome to the crappy quality YouTube video because my phone ran out of battery in the middle of recording, so I probably have a corrupted video now. So apologies for how uh, horrible this looks. Today's not been a very good day, to put it mildly. Um, found out that my partner's second flight has now been canceled. So my partner's flight going back to Norway was canceled. Uh, I was supposed to have left toward the start of this month. It got canceled. Um, the airline, which was SAS for that flight, didn't rebook or anything. They just canceled it. No anything given. And I understand that everything is all sorts of screwed up right now, especially when it comes to travel, given the pandemic. But for international flights, um, people are only allowed in the country for a limited period of time. My partner's limit expired already, so they've overstayed their visa waiver program. We applied for special concession for that, given, you know, not exactly their fault that they overstayed. They want to go home, but they can't. Um, and I had booked this flight. This flight was supposed to leave at the start of May. And it got canceled earlier this week, slash late last week. No information given about a refund or anything like that. They've just taken my money. This one was Delta and KLM. Um, they've just taken my money. Their official policy is that they give a travel credit, which is illegal, by the way. Uh, if your flight is canceled, you are entitled to a full refund. They have not done so, and they don't have a mechanism of doing so on their website. So that's fun to deal with. And I'm trying to find... Oh, I figured out why the flight got canceled. Pretty much all flights out of Madison are canceled at this point. There's only two flights a day now. Um, two flights leaving, I should say. So, okay, the, there's why they canceled. Unfortunately, it's not feasible for us to go to too many other airports. Um, I can probably ask friends to get me to O'Hare, but one, that means violating the stay-at-home order. Haha. <laughs> and two, I have to find a flight that they're not going to immediately cancel from there, too. Wow. The color balance on this is too terrible along with it being fuzzy and i feel like i'm recording from a vhs or something i wonder if there's something on like the lens or the either on the lens or the screen protector that's mostly but not quite on it or mostly off of it but not quite anyway um yeah you're just going to get the artistic vhs look tonight apparently so I need to try to find a flight that is actually going to depart. It's not like all flights are canceled going to Norway. It's a large amount of them. And trying to find which ones are canceled versus which ones aren't. Uh, I've found some that aren't canceled, but you can't book those flights. What is with the color balance? Uh, here, let me see if I can... Pause and make this work better. Nope, I have zero options when I pause, so uh, this is going to be the worst looking video. I mean, it's going to be marginally better than the last one, but that's just because it was solid black. Um, yeah, so all of this is extremely stressful. I'm tired of dealing with all of this garbage. I just want my partner to be able to go home so they can see their kitties again start their quarantine at home and just be able to be away from everybody because this is wearing on my partner a great deal which means it's also wearing on me twice as fast i i'm having problems dealing with this every where i turn i feel like i have to fight to get just basic things done like you know getting a refund for an example from two different airlines I shouldn't have to fight them. It's legally required for them to provide me a cash refund. Travel credit doesn't do me any good if I can't travel with it. Um, 
have to fight U.S. immigration because they never responded to the request. That could mean that they're just so overwhelmed that they don't have a chance to respond, but it could also mean that they've decided, yeah, no, we're not accepting it, and as a result, just canceling the visa waiver program, which would make my partner no longer eligible to visit the United States. I swear, I'm not changing the light in this room at all. Right, Kat? See, Kenny agrees with me. It just must be something to do with how it's trying to adjust color balance and everything. I don't know. <sighs> the only part of the recording that you missed was me feeding my kitties, so you missed seeing Isun and Boo as well. Um, if the recording is not complete garbage, because I did hit pause right as it was switching over to shutting off because battery. Uh, I'll upload that as well. Once more, this is not what I planned on uploading today. The, the whole canceled flight thing kind of shot a cannonball through all of my plans. I'm not okay. I'm, I'm not handling this well. And I don't know what we're going to be able to do. My partner needs to go home. It's their home. It's their kitties. And it's my fault. Because I should have convinced them to leave earlier. They were on the fence about it. But my mental state was so weakened that I kind of lean toward the may not be a good idea to leave me alone. And that may still have been the case, but as a result, we may have lost their ability to go home anytime soon. And that's worse. Anyway, I need to go to bed. Good night, Internet. I'll see you tomorrow.